On today's episode of Super Skills, I'm going to be showing you how to get your first pistol squat with five easy exercises. The first exercise in the progression is just a simple close stance bodyweight squat. Just see if you can complete 10 to 12 bodyweight squats with the big toes touching one another. A goal here is to get the hips to sit all the way on the calves, getting full range of motion. Next is a supported single leg squat. For this exercise, you're gonna be squatting on the one leg and just lightly placing your toes of the opposite leg behind you for balance. Do not put any weight on that back leg. Again, you're just using that back foot to maintain balance as you work on strengthening your single leg squat. This is gonna develop the strength you need to do a pistol squat. This one is my favorite, the alternating pistol isometric hold. So for this, you're going to shift your weight back and forth as if you were holding the bottom of a pistol squat. See if you can hold each position for three to five seconds before switching to the other leg. Bonus points if you can get that leg straight and you can always use your hand to support the non-working leg. So from this view, little tip here is that you can see me actually shift my weight side to side so that the middle of that like butt cheek is in line with the middle toe. And by shifting your weight side to side, you're going to be able to find that balance. Another thing I wanna talk about is really letting the knee come forward and keeping your weight over the midfoot. If you put your weight too far behind, you're gonna fall backwards. Let me demonstrate by drawing a straight line from my armpit to my midfoot. So I wanna keep my armpit over my midfoot with my arms extended. The second I let that armpit come behind, you're just gonna fall backwards and lose your balance. For this last exercise, well, actually I have two more for you, you're just gonna need to get a box. And this is a pistol squat on a box. So this is a really good intermediate exercise before you try your pistol. So the thing about this one is that you don't need as much hip flexor strength in that opposite leg. So by removing the floor, you don't need to lift the opposite leg up as much, which makes the pistol squat a lot more manageable if this is your first time. I love this exercise to build strength in your pistol squat. I have one more for you that you can try before you do the full pistol, and that is giving your opposite leg a little bit of support with your fingers. Again, this is gonna be helpful if you have a little less hip flexor or abdominal strength, and you can't keep that leg up without cramping. Last, we're gonna try a pistol squat. This is what a full range of motion pistol squat will look like. Notice how I'm in control for the whole range of motion in the movement. Thank you for watching. If you liked my video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you want to see next.